SpaceX is delaying its historic Polaris Dawn launch for at least another day due to a helium leak. The capsule carrying four private citizens is now scheduled to lift off tomorrow morning at the earliest. The capsule is supposed to travel 870 miles above Earth, further away than any crewed mission since Apollo 17 in 1972. Joining me now with the very latest on the situation is CBS News space consult consultant Bill Harwood. So, Bill, SpaceX is reporting a delay in this mission because of a helium leak. I wonder if this is, you know, an issue that comes up frequently because I think the Boeing uh, mission also, that's the problem with the Boeing uh, ship as well, spaceship or Starliner. Is, is helium particularly difficult to work with? Well, it is a little bit difficult to work with. Now, these two problems are a little bit different. You know, helium is used in lots of spacecraft under pressure to push propellants to thrusters and rocket engines so they can fire up in weightlessness, right? Uh, so in the Starliner capsule, the, the leak is actually in the spacecraft. In this case, they found a le helium leak in an umbilical that connects to the Falcon 9 rocket uh, before launch. So they've lowered the rocket down to a horizontal position. They're making repairs, and hopefully they'll get all that cleared up in time to make another run at launch uh, tomorrow. So I know we're making a big deal about how historic this is, but it's not just that they're all civilians. None of them have ever done a spacewalk before. Usually there's at least one person on a mission that is familiar, and the spacesuit hasn't been tested in space before. Uh, you're correct. This is uh, the first flight of, with a non-government spacewalk that's ever been carried out. And, of course, by definition, the two people who will do that are rookies when it comes to walking in space. It's Commander Jared Isaacman. He's the billionaire who's financing part of this mission. And Sarah Gillis, who's a crew trainer at SpaceX. Uh, so you're right. The spacesuits are brand new as well. Uh, they're modified versions of the suits that uh, Crew Dragon crews wear when they blast off and go to the space station. But they've obviously been modified. They're equipped with umbilicals to feed oxygen, uh, cool air, uh, communications cables, things like that. And they're not going to float outside and, and detach themselves from the Crew Dragon like you might think watching a space station spacewalk. Uh, they're really going to climb out the hatch and be poised right there. But they're never going to lose contact uh, with the spacecraft. They really want to test the suit, the movement you'll see of moving their arms around, testing the shoulder joints and all the other accoutrements on the spacesuit uh, to make sure they work as planned uh, for development further down the road. Fascinating stuff. Bill Harwood, thank you. Thanks.